Pepperdine University, founded by George Pepperdine in 1937. Every year, students come to this campus to enrich their minds. Yet there is a darker side. Our story takes us back to May 6, 1938. A young man and his piano. It was uh, 72 years ago, William J. Fitzgerald III, he died while he was doing his final performance here at Pepperdine. He was the son of a, a wheat farmer in Alabama, rural Alabama. 1915 he was born. He was a, a child prodigy and he soon came to California in Pepperdine. He was um, the best, the best of the best here at Pepperdine. But he died in the middle of his final performance. There are a lot of arguments about what caused his death, and, and really, nobody knows why. Since then, many of the people here have claimed to see the spirit of William roaming the halls, uh, the grounds of Pepperdine. Usually, they see this spirit around the anniversary of his death, still trying to finish that final performance. <laughs> I've been working on ghosts for about 28 years now. Hunting them has been a very important part of my life. And I've been hearing a lot about the Pepperdine campus and the secrets that have been here. And I'm really excited to have me and my team finally get the chance to uncover the secrets of the Fitzgerald ghost. Yeah, yeah, I can't prepare with the latest in uh, ghost hunting technology. Oh, you want to know what this is? Spectrometer. Measures the uh, wavelengths of the uh, local room that you are in for any spectral activity. Yeah. We have set up cameras all over the campus and we are ready to catch some ghosts. Yeah, I have noticed some strange things. The other night I was studying in my room and I noticed something outside my window. A shadowy figure ran across my lawn and dove into the bushes. I didn't make out the face completely, but I was pretty sure that it was William. We returned to the scene where the eyewitness supposedly found the ghost of last. Looking around, no signs yet. Anything on, this, anything on the spectrometer, Nixon? Anything yet? Uh, no, nothing yet. Hold on, let me check over by this bush. Good readings over here. I think this is where she said she saw it. Wait, what was that? What? What? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was a ghost. Something definitely moved. Right that was definitely there. a ghost. Did you see it? Are you filming this? So. Yes, I got it. I got it. You must think that was him? You must have moved. That was a bush. That's the only explanation possible, isn't it? I see people walking around campus all the time. Figures. Figures walking. Sometimes, if you listen really closely, you can hear a piano playing. Alright guys, this is the video from the auditorium they wanted to show you. Right there. Look oh at that. Oh I know. Oh my See god. The Jesus. See the lights? Look. It's like someone Look at that. went in front of it. I know. I know. That... that it's gotta be a ghost. It's mind boggling. That's a ghost. That's definitely a ghost. You saw that? Yeah, that was definitely a ghost. It. That had to be a ghost. It's like, Jesus. Well, it's been a long three days, and we've seen some creepy things caught on camera. However, it's too bad that we didn't get to see the ghost on camera. So join us next week on Paranormal Investigators.
Yes. 